Well, health experts say the pandemic has created a global mental health crisis with a 25% increase in anxiety and depressive disorders in the first year of the outbreak. So you know the one thing I tell people, um, just first off, just give yourself grace because um, times are hard <laughs> and just kind of normalizing that we're all having a hard time is really helpful in helping us manage ourselves. Well, on this World Mental Health Day, we're taking you to Clyde Warren Park in downtown Dallas for an evening of relaxation. And look who's there, Alexis <laughs> Wainwright. She joins us now live, very in the shade and cool and calm, right? Yeah, very cool and calm where we're standing right now. We can tell you it's a perfect day to be out here. Clyde Warren Park has several different programs for people to come out. And today they're doing a yoga class. What better way to relieve some stress than with yoga? I actually have a yoga instructor with me right now. This is Carrie Healy. She's been teaching a class for the last few minutes. Really quickly, can you just tell us how does yoga help maintain mental health? So yoga uh, helps with our mental health for every day because we are connected to our bodies by, our, by way of our minds and our breath. So it's a movement, a physical activity that combines your breath with movement. So this helps us be able to relieve stress and be able to breathe and breathe through situations. So we always call on the mat or off the mat. So this breathing that we practice is we are able to do this off the mat too. So when you get into a stressful situation, guess what you end up doing? Yeah. Take that nice big breath in and just exhale it out. Okay. And really quickly, yoga can be intimidating. What's a simple move that people who are at home right now could do to help them? So movement, just any movement. So when you wake up in the morning, it's as simple as maybe standing here, standing tall and very direct, your shoulders over hips, hips over knees, arms can reach up and then just take a big, beautiful back bend, rise up and then just float down forward fold. And then inhale, just half lift, exhale fold, let that go. Just as simple as those kind of movements. Okay. That's a nice way to wake up. We call that a sun A. Okay, yeah. awesome. This is good stuff to learn. Yes. So if people aren't out here today, where can they find you after this? Yes, um, so I come out here and teach at da for Dallas Yoga Center. That's who I represent. I work with them during the week. Um, I also work for another company called Coda Wellness and um, teach classes for her. But I'm also just designed a um, a new foundation that is going to give back to the communities that don't have the resources and we're going to bring meditation and yoga it's called engagement canopy okay awesome yeah. well thank you so much yes, thank you we'll so obviously much. stick out here tune back in here on cbs 11 tonight at five until then i'm going to try some of these moves we'll come back <laughs> with you guys with more coming up tonight at five Namaste to you and all there, all right? Thank you so much, Alexis. By the way, folks, if you or someone you know having emotional troubles, concerns, even suicidal thoughts, any other mental health crisis, you can call or text 988. You'll be connected to trained counselors 24-7.